The building was deliberately designed to pick up upon the culture and the landscape of both Zhuhai, Macau, and Hong Kong. Essentially, all of this area is volcanic rock. It's a sort of yellowish volcanic rock. It's very mountainous. It used to be volcanoes millions of years ago. And we have lots of islands and water around the islands. And the hills are covered in jungle, in trees, vegetation. So those are the three things that we're really looking to pick up for in the design, the materiality and the forms and the shapes. When we're designing buildings, we try to make them what's called biophilic. And what's been discovered fairly recently is that human beings like to be in touch with nature, are happier and more efficient if they can be in direct touch with nature. And when we say be in touch with nature, that's natural light as opposed to artificial light. It's to see trees and water and to feel close to natural environment. The roof is representative of the waves. And then the flooring and a lot of the materials are stone. They're a natural blonde colored stone similar to the stone of this area. And finally, the roof is held up with trees. You'll see four trees coming down and that holds up the roof with these big spans. And those are deliberately painted into a brown color like the tree limbs. And the roof itself, the underside of the roof, is a natural blonde wood color. So in this building, by lifting and floating the roof, we have no heavy walls or columns. We can see out across the water and to the hills and the landscape behind. And then the roof lights bring abundant natural light down into the building. Now that's not just sustainable in terms of energy use, but it also makes you feel calm and relaxed and in touch with nature. So the two things go hand in hand, sustainability and biophilic response. So we have this flowing roof that guides you. You don't need signage, just when you come in, just follow that roof and you go through the process. We also have four waterways, so four beautiful stretches of water which you cross over. So again, you have a series of staging posts. When you come off your vehicle, you cross some water to go to the departure hall. And then you go through immigration, you cross some water to go to customs. And then you cross some water and you go to the departure hall. And finally, you cross some water and go and pick up your vehicle to go to Hong Kong or Zhuhai. So those staging posts are also very important to guide people through the process to make them feel comfortable and without any anxiety. So when we're designing for the GBA, we need to pay particular attention to the culture of the GBA, meaning language, culture, the, it was Cantonese language predominantly in this area, and the culture is very, very strong indeed. And that culture stretches not just from the food, but the old fishing way of life, the farming, the communities. So that's what we particularly look for when we're designing in the GBA.